Good morning friends. Coming to you today just with a cell phone. Some of you may know I lost my GoPro camera in the river this week. Pretty expensive week overall. Um, went fishing twice, once over there on the river. Uh, had a lot of good footage. I was very, very disappointed. Had several fish catches. Um, was really looking forward to bringing it to you. Pretty excited about it. Lost the camera, and that's just one of those things. I'm fairly new to this, so you learn as you go. Be that as it may, was able to go out again on another lake and get some footage just with a cell phone. It's not as good, it's not as, uh, it doesn't show as much information, but it does give you a chance to come out and experience with me, and I sure do appreciate it. As soon as four or six, this one is four flat. Again, thanks for joining me in that experience. Uh, really good day f for the conditions. I didn't get out there till 9.30 after I got the baby off to school. And um, I, and then I was done by 3.30 or so. Hot, hot water, uh, upper 80s, low 90s by the end of the day. So really all things considered, I thought it was pretty good. Now, I would like to have a little bit of instructional information um, that that I find really useful and hopefully you will too. Okay, for instruction today, basically what we've got is uh, during the course of the day of fishing and, and everybody does it, your line needs to be replaced. A big problem that I've always had is because I do a lot of other things by myself is trying to figure out a way to uh, put new line on my reel without it being without it being too I don't know just a pain so I actually saw this tip on Jimmy Houston uh, a television show I was watching his and he actually had this tip and so what you'll do is once you got all your old line off and you if you're gonna have a leader or if you're gonna go direct to your reel you put that on there and then instead of having somebody hold it with a screwdriver or something like that, what you're gonna do is actually take your take your line as once it gets strung on there, and I'm gonna do a close up here. Hopefully you can see this. And you're gonna you're gonna place the tip of your rod down on the ground or wherever it may be. You're gonna place the tip of your rod with the line coming off the reel, off the line reel, or off the, the roll of line. You're going to put your rod tip right down here beside it. And as you reel this line in, the tension of the tip of this rod, as you can see here, the tension of the tip of this rod as it's coming off is going to give you the right tension and also to keep from rolling your spool off. And so 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and show that to you, and uh, I'll show you as I, as I roll it on there, and hopefully you'll be able to use this tip. Now we've got fresh line, we've got that crankbait tied back on there. Hopefully you find this information useful. You can use it when you're alone. I use it a lot. It's actually helped me quite a bit. It's a big time saver to try to find, um, trying to find somebody to hold your line or finding some way to fashion it or whatever. Nice and convenient. If you like this tip, uh, please like and subscribe this video. I do appreciate it. Until next time.